The good old days of massive production of food and building of pyramids are gradually coming back to the nation. Some months ago, we brought to you the unveiling of rice pyramids in Abuja by President Muhammadu Buhari. This time around, it is the recent unveiling of maize pyramids in Kaduna. In this episode of the program, we are focusing on the highlights of the event and what we need to do to sustain the temple of the Akka Boros program, which is a major factor in the success of these massive productions. But before then, we will take the news of happenings in the agricultural sector. I am your anchor, Gabriel Ojile. Welcome to Transforming Agriculture in Nigeria. Do sit back and watch. What we did here is mechanized. It's back to land, back to agriculture. I can supply the milk factories for milk. That's the new norm for employment and for wealth creation. Get your piece of the action. Before farming, we will spread the manure. There to take on agribusiness. They have been working in terms of making sure they give us new breeds. Seize the opportunity you have been waiting for. Watch Transforming Agriculture in Nigeria. Showing every Friday at 8.30 p.m. on the NTA Network Service. President Buhari commissions 2.5 billion fertilizer plant in Lagos. Also, CBN Governor unveils maize pyramids in Kaduna. Details shortly. In line with the resolve to create an enabling environment for the private sector to thrive, President Muhammadu Buhari recently commissioned the Dangote Fertilizer Plant in Lagos State. President Buhari said the plant is an endorsement of his administration's target of food sufficiency. The president added that the fertilizer plant will increase production of fertilizer and create employment for Nigerians. The president of the Dangote Group, Alhaji Aliko Dangote, while thanking the government for creating an enabling environment, stressed that the plants would meet the fertilizer needs of Nigeria and boost foreign exchange earnings through export. The fertilizer company, which was built at a cost of $2.5 billion, has the capacity to produce 3 million metric tons of urea fertilizer per annum. The plant, which occupies 500 hectares of land in Lekki Free Trade Zone, is Africa's largest granulated urea fertilizer complex. The governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefele, has unveiled 21 maize pyramids in Kaduna. Speaking at the occasion, the Apex Bank boss, Godwin Emefele, who was represented by the Director of Development Finance Department, Philip Ila Yusuf, commanded the Maize Association of Nigeria and President Muhammad Buhari for their unwavering support to the CBN to implement the Ankor Boras program. Mr. President has consistently championed the Ankor Boras program and he has given the central bank all the support required to be able to work with all stakeholders in the agricultural sector to ensure that we achieve this rapid transformation in the agricultural value chain. I'm also pleased to be here at the unveiling of the Maze Association of Nigeria Pyramid and this is a testimony and the endorsement of your effort to contribute to food security in Nigeria. Also speaking at the occasion, the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Mohamed Mahmoud Abubakar, who was represented by Northwest Zonal Director of the Ministry, Timkat Votav, stated that in addition to the Ankor Boros program, the Ministry would continue to support smallholder farmers to boost food production. The Federal Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development will also continue to support smallholder farmers as they have been identified as the Indian room for the achievement of sufficient food production in Nigeria. The Ministry has consistently strengthened the agricultural sector via different programs, among which include subsidizing the price of farm inputs such as seeds, chemicals, organic fertilizers, storage facilities, as low as 10%. Speaking earlier at the occasion, the National President of Maize Association of Nigeria, MAAN, Belo Abubakar, applauded the effort of President Buhari and the CBN on the Ankor Boras program, which he said has improved the livelihoods of farmers and increased food production. Maize Association of Nigeria would like to use the forum to continue to show appreciation to the government of President Muhammad Buhari, DCFR for giving farmers a new lease of life. Furthermore, it is to send the dynamic and the resourceful governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria 
Dr. Gordon M. P. N. C. O. N. for providing the enabling environment for small holder farmers. More importantly, Your Excellencies, today's event will also demonstrate the capacity of man in mobilizing Nigerian farmers to produce what can sustain us and even export over a period of time. Over the years, there have been different policies of government on agriculture. One of such policies that has yielded positive results is the Anchor Boras Program of the Central Bank of Nigeria. The Maize Association of Nigeria is one of the farmers' associations that has recorded huge success of the program. This is evident in the unveiling of the National Maize Pyramids. In our next segment, we are focusing on the highlights of the unveiling ceremony of the National Maize Pyramid in Kaduna. Keep watching and see for yourself. Thursday, 25th March 2022, stakeholders converged in Ungwesarki area of Kaduna for the historic unveiling of the Second National Maze Pyramids under the Ankar Borrowers Program of the Federal Government through the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, in collaboration with the Maze Association of Nigeria. These stakeholders include members of Maize Association of Nigeria, representative of the Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, representative of Minister of Agriculture, representative of the Governor of Kaduna State, the Emir of Zazo, other traditional rulers, bankers, media practitioners, and other relevant stakeholders. The event was organized by the Maize Association of Nigeria to showcase the impact the association has made in maize production through the Anchor Borrower Program. 21 maize pyramids were unveiled. The pyramids are a collection of maize planted and harvested by the members of the Maize Association of Nigeria across the country. They are loan repayment of the Anchor Borrower Program. For the Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emifiele, who was represented by the Director, Development Finance Department, Philip Yila Yusuf, the CBN would remain committed to the development of the Nigerian economy as attested to by the numerous financial interventions deployed to support grain farmers and seed companies to produce high-yielding seeds that can boost maize production. For him, the maize pyramids would have a multiplier effect on the nation like the 2021 National Maize Pyramid in Katsina Deed. You will recall that in 2021, we launched the first maize pyramids in Katsina with a total of over 3,000 metric tons of maize, pyramid, maize displayed in Katsina. The produce was strategically released to marketers through allocation and directly linked to feed mills and large-scale poultry farms. This strategic allocation assisted in moderating prices and ensuring steady supply to all the major players in the market. The cost savings to these economic agents was enormous and it had a multiplier effect in the entire value chain. The volume of maize in this pyramid you see before us today is intended to serve as additional stock for the strategic maize reserve, which will also be released to all the participants in the value chain. For the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, the impact of the Anchor Borrowers Program and the effort of the Ministry in enhancing the capacity of farmers have repositioned Nigeria as the largest producer of maize in Africa and 11th in the world. The use of improved farm input and dry season farming are areas the Ministry will continue to support farmers to ensure all year round production. The Federal Ministry of Agriculture is focused on ensuring that maize farmers get required critical input growth enhancers, seeds, 
bio-rational pesticides, herbicides, and so on, and agro-equipment at affordable price and at the rate, the right time for both wet and dry season to make maize production all year round. For the Maize Association of Nigeria, these pyramids are evidence of the feedback on loan repayment and the capacity of the members of the association. Official ordering of these pyramids as a genuine feedback to the present administration determination to lift many Nigerians out of extreme poverty and position agriculture as a business. It also shows that man it will go, it will go to just supporting food security, but food and nutrition security, which is a collaboration with Harvest Plus to promote the production and the consumption of nutritious vitamin A mess. The Kaduna State Governor, Malam Nasser Erufai, was represented by the Commissioner of Agriculture, Kaduna State, Ibrahim Husseini. For the governor, the Uncle Burrower program is solely designed by the federal government in collaboration with the Central Bank of Nigeria. However, it has contributed positively to food production in Kaduna State. I'm not surprised that Kaduna State is selected to host this very important event based on the fact that Kaduna State is the largest producer of maize in Nigeria. It is our strong belief and conviction that through agriculture, Nigeria will achieve food security, create jobs, social inclusion, enhance livelihood, stimulate growth of small and medium-sized enterprises. We hope that this program will change the narrative for producers, processors, input suppliers, service providers, and consumers towards a more strengthened commercial agriculture productivity in Nigeria. The governor also pledged continuous support to drive the diversification of the nation's economy through agriculture. Supporting For Honorable Montari Dutse, Chairman, House Committee on Agricultural Production, the House of Representatives would make laws that will back the ABP so that it would not suffer policies some assault. Dutse commended the efforts of the stakeholders while encouraging all hands to be on deck to produce more. And I want to appreciate the effort of all the financial stakeholders who are collaborating with Central Bank to ensure they provide loan to small farmers holders so that they create job opportunities for this country. And I want to use this opportunity also to urge our teaming youth and our teaming unemployed to join agriculture because there is different value chain which was supported by CBN in order to be self-employed and self Develop. Other activities that marked the day was the tour of the pyramids, value-added products of maize, organic fertilizer, and other farm inputs by the special guest and the organizers of the occasion. Development finance officers the high point of the event was the presentation of awards to CBN staff in three states that performed excellently under the Anka Borrower Program. The award for the second position. Guambe State came second in the performance indicator due to the high level of compliance of maize farmers in the repayment process. We're happy our state became second and uh, our farmers are really cooperating in repaying their loans. This is uh, what uh, brings the success. Uh, we want to thank the federal government, the Unity Bank and the CBN this is a reality, like I said. So we advise all that are still left behind to come and join. It is not too late. The horizon is still wide. There was more to the unveiling of the maize pyramids in Kaduna State. Other stakeholders showed their support of the transformation going on in the farming of grains while commending the active partners in the project. 
In our next segment, Partnership for Development, we will bring you more speeches and interviews with some of other stakeholders who witnessed the event. Keep watching. The success story of the Central Bank of Nigeria of the Anchor Borough Program would not have been possible without collaboration with the relevant stakeholders like Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, Unity Bank PLC, Farmers Associations, Farmers Clusters, Traditional Rulers, amongst others. We still have... The Emir of Zazo, Ambassador Nuhubamali, expressed his satisfaction that Kaduna State is among the number one maize producing states in Nigeria. He also encouraged farmers to enhance productivity. We still have gaps. That's why the fact that Nigeria is now a leader in Africa in producing rice and also in maize also, I understand, we're second. And I'm equally very pleased to hear that um, um, the production level has increased astronomically from 8 million tons per uh, 8, 8 million metric tons you know, to about 24 today. So which is terrific and I think is commendable. And we hope and pray that in the next few years, Nigeria will not depend on oil. Nigeria will be depending on agriculture, you know, to feed the economy. That is our desire and prayer. So with this, I'd like to thank, you know, the support of the banks, especially the central bank, and in, uh, also uh, the people working in this Anko Bora scheme, they have done excellently well and we're very proud of your accomplishments. For Obagbola Akombi, this historic event was an eye-opener for him and other traditional rulers and critical stakeholders to key into, as he has not seen the magnitude of such maze pyramids before. For him, efforts also needs to be geared towards storage facilities. What is more important again is talking about how to make storage available. Because when there is massive production, there will be serious waste and mismanagement without uh, good storage facilities. So this has to be considered along the line because a lot of interest will be woken up now. And of course, there will be mass, massive production of maize. The Central Bank is not alone in this business of Anchor Borrowers Program, but also collaborates with Unity Bank PLC. Unity Bank PLC has played a vital role in facilitating the loans to the farmers. Resilience of the farmers. The managing director, Oluwa Tomi Shomefun, represented by Usman Abdul Kader, commended the Central Bank of Nigeria for reviving and conceptualizing the Anchor Borrowers Program. Unity Bank is fully committed to its partnership with MAN and other developmental programs of the federal government and the Central Bank of Nigeria geared towards the growth and development of the real sector of the economy. We are truly the Farmers Bank. Speaking later in an interview, Usman Abdul Kader explained the secret behind the success story of the Anchor Borrowers Program and the level of implementation and recovery. So under the program, instead of giving farmers cash to go and buy the inputs, Central Bank acquires the inputs and gives the inputs to the farmers, which comprise the seed, the fertilizers, the agrochemicals, the services including mechanization and harvesting, and so many other things, so that the farmers um, don't have to collect money. When they use the inputs, then uh, the crops they will have harvested at the end of the year is supposed to be delivered in satisfaction of the loans. Now it is expected that for every hectare of land, maize farmers will produce a minimum of between three and five tons. The value of inputs given to them to produce this output is equivalent of about one ton 
there was a value of one ton per hectare. So if a farmer gets three tons, which is the minimum, um, he that is enough to pay down the loan, which is the equivalent of one ton. The remaining two tons are the profits of the farmer. Other stakeholders in the seed industry expressed readiness to collaborate with the Maize Association of Nigeria for more production. I'm also happy to, to be working with MAN because why? MAN basically tackles the need of the smallholders farmer, which is about access to input, access to knowledge, and access to market. And for us, working with them has also been able to ensure that more small-scale farmers are empowered in being able to raise their productivity and at the end of the day, their, their livelihood. Every part of Nigeria has something to offer. The program is transforming agriculture in Nigeria. During the unveiling of National Maize Pyramids in Kaduna, we could not help but catch the excitement of the National Coordinator of the Maize Association of Nigeria, amongst others. Let's share the moment with them in our next segment, Farmers Speak. I really want to thank the federal government for bringing this program on board. It has been wonderful and I will remain a maize farmer all my life until my strength can no longer carry me. So when I can't join them from two hectares, now I can be able to plant five hectares. So I really benefiting from them. The strawberry is a sweet red heart-shaped fruit which is well loved for its delicious taste and nutritional benefits. Strawberries were first bred in France in 1750s. Strawberry varieties include Honey Oye, Early Glow, All Star, Ozark Beauty, Chandler, Jewel, Seascape, Tristar, Sparkle, Shark Rock, Fort Laramie, June Bearing, June Bearing Variety, and the Ever Bearing Variety. Strawberries can be eaten raw and are also available frozen and freeze-dried, as well as in jellies and jams. Apart from being eaten raw, the fruit is useful in various industries, among which are the cosmetic industry for the production of fragrant and flavored lotions, face washes, body oils and shampoos. Food processing industry also use strawberry for production of ice creams, jams, jellies, squashies, syrups, candies, and chocolates. The pharmaceutical industry also uses strawberry for the production of tablets, medicines, protein bars, protein shakes, and supplements. Strawberries contain several vitamins, minerals, and fibers which improve heart function, lower the risk of cardiovascular diseases, prevent stroke, cancer, arthritis pains, heart disease, high blood pressure, and type 2 diabetes. Strawberry production worldwide in 2016 was 9,125,913 tons. China is the largest strawberry producer in the world with about 4 million tons production volume, followed by the United States of America with 1,420,570 tons. China and United States of America together produce 57% of world's total. Egypt is the biggest producer of strawberries in Africa with total production of about 500,000 tons followed by Morocco with about 137,000 tons. In Nigeria, strawberry famine is mostly cultivated in Plato State due to the state's cold climate, but it can also be grown in other parts of the country. Market research company Index Box reported that the global strawberry market in 2016 amounted to $15.9 billion. The cultivation of strawberries in Nigeria is still an untapped gold mine despite its huge acceptance as a fruit in the country. 
Farmers and agribusiness investors who venture into this line of farming stand to reap great benefits as the market is readily available. This is where we draw the curtains on this episode of the program. Many thanks to the Federal Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, the Central Bank of Nigeria, the Maize Association of Nigeria, and all the stakeholders who have given us something to celebrate and more to look forward to. Join us again same time, same station next week for another edition of Transforming Agriculture in Nigeria. Like we saw on the program, think agriculture, think farming. See you next week. <laughs>